Um, hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today's reading is going to be very much focused on how does your person see you. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. I also want to give you a little reminder that I am offering a lot of services. Um, the community candle stands out. Uh, again, this is like the third time I've done your intro. So uh, check out my services, follow your heart, and uh, let that be that. Uh, I was channeling the message about this person um, never... They could never quite treat you right, but we'll see. We'll see what that means. I do know that this person finds you very beautiful and alluring. Um, that triggered this person. Yeah, we'll say, oh, look, it's a real interesting. It's, I can see a very strong trigger there. Definitely very protective over you, not wanting to lose you as a result. Um, so it's very interesting. Let's see. That's the overview. We have peace here. I actually feel right now that your connection is in a time of uh, stillness. Our peace, um, serenity, you could be together. Let me see. Rebellion, mm, we'll take a look there, right? We, we also have bravery. Um, can I get a clarifier for bravery? Healthy. I feel like a lot of yous are in a period of trying to uh, find balance, equilibrium in your connection. With this hand here, I am seeing you both uh, together and I'm seeing you and this person trying to work things out. With the healthy here, um, it does feel like you both are trying to come at this very healthy. What is very interesting is I actually feel like there's resistances to embodying your full energy. I'm going to give you an example and it really does feel like this. And I feel you and this, uh, you, you specifically, but probably this person as well, um, you're trying not to engage in those negative energies that came around maybe at the beginning of your connection or um, before, right? Uh, a really good energy that I would actually bring up that is uh, what I'm feeling a lot chase your energy. I feel like a lot of times you will lunge at this person and chase them. And you're trying not to do that. I, I get that obviously we want to try not to do it but in reality there's something driving that force and you want to heal that rather than actually having to hold yourself back i really do get that this person's special and i really do get that this person means a lot to you but can we be real you shouldn't have to hold yourself back and it doesn't require you changing yourself it requires you healing whatever is pushing that um to surface so that you can actually it's not really bring yourself into balance and equilibrium i really do recommend and i was connecting with this being of light earlier, or sorry, a couple of days ago, yin and yang. Um, I was getting really getting that really strongly, uh, balance out your masculine and feminine energies, but there is that energy and you are, I know you're trying not to do the same things you did before. Maybe it's not with this person, maybe it's another one. You, you notice that, right? That pattern, that, um, that karmic cycle. In reality, can we be real? Like you shouldn't have to hold yourself back. You should be able to just let yourself go um, and be happy with who you are. But you know that that energy is a distortion and you want to heal it. So don't suppress it, face it, heal it, move through it. No, no, no issues there. At the bottom, we have rebellion. That's what I'm seeing with that rebellion. And we have evolution. So if you were to face this, um, you will actually start to evolve and be in a much happier place. Um, no one's worth suppressing anything for us. Does it make sense? Like you shouldn't have to suppress anything to be with someone and you shouldn't want that. And that's actually what I want for you. I want you to have all of you to be your best self. Um, if they don't like that, maybe you, maybe you heal yourself and you still come on strong. If they don't like it. They don't like it. It's not your problem. All right. Ooh. Okay. Let's get a little bit more here. This card did come out. We have lucky. And I feel like this is a message for you. Anyone that's with you is lucky to have you. That's something you need to hold to your heart and hold true because it's the truth. Okay. So let's see. Can you tell me, um, Medicine of Quinnish I mean, what, how does this person see? How does this person see um, Scorpio? We have gratitude. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm uh, very grateful to have met you. You bring a lot of gratitude into her life. Oh, hmm. The way you see things makes this person see it the same way, and they find gratitude in those moments. So it's really crazy. Um, your impact on this person raises their vibration, and they can see things for what they are rather than that pessimism or that small-minded perspective. Ooh, I did not mean this, but I will. I wanted this one. We have tenacious, yeah. And then it came out with aware. Um, again, this is that awareness energy, but tenacious, I feel like you bring a lot of zest to this person's life. They love the energy you give off. Um, I don't know if they're cool as a cucumber or very solid and grounded. I'm not sure, but they love that you have that 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 energy and. 
it makes them it makes life interesting. We also have wisdom. You know, I I do I did get this, and it was for the reading I had to I redid the reading or for this uh, your Scorpio reading I had to do it twice. But um, I was getting a lot of wisdom here. I feel like with this wisdom, uh, I think you channel a lot from source, um, your guides, and you the things you say are wise. And I know you don't appreciate it. I know I almost never do, but. The things you say are wise and they mean something. And that is something that this person has really noticed. I feel like they're around people who are very low vibe or don't have that ability to channel from source. So they know uh, they're hearing words of wisdom that come out of your mouth and they do change. Um, uh, it's it's far bigger of a change than we realize. And it's just some, it's just something that's words powered, right? Um, anyway, I hope that makes sense. It's You channel these things and they change this person's perspective and they changes their life, changes the choices that they make. And... It changes where they're going, and it's it's all because of that impact you've had. And we have Zen. You do definitely bring that energy into this life. You bring balance and equilibrium to them. I feel you need to balance out your masculine feminine energies, but I think you naturally give that to them, that balance energy. And we have safety. It makes sense and hope. Um, they feel very safe to be around you, and you give this person a lot of hope. It's interesting. Hope for the future. Um, hmm. this is an interesting one. One of the things that this person has a hope for, uh, is that you will accept them in all their parts, um, hmm. in their entirety. All right. Um, and you know what I mean by that, the good, the bad. All right. And they, they have hope for that. And they really have, a. they really do. They really do. Um, they really do hope that you will accept them, right? Uh, and it's it's a lot of times they, they don't feel that with people, but they possibly with you with the four pentacles here. Um, they're very blocked off for the most part, but with you, they open up. Know that that even if it feels very small, even if it feels like it's almost nothing, right? That it's a big deal. Not a lot of people see this. And I know that it's never enough, right? And, you know, we want everything. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, no, and we do want everything, but know that when they are trying, they are trying. Um, I guess you're being asked to hold space in that moment. We have the tower reverse. Interesting. Mm. They, you have changed them, but you can't see the change. So it's. In, I feel, and then I'm gonna be real honest with you. I think they may wear a mask when they're around you, because it kind of feels like you're dealing with the same person. But I think people in their life that know them for years see the difference, and. It is impacting their choices too. We have the nine of wands. So you have helped this person surrender bitterness, resentment, and pain from their past. And uh, know that that's freed them up a lot. Um, we have the lovers. Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and it's uh, we'll pull one more card, the four of cups. Um, I, I'm going to say this. I feel like this person met you. And they don't feel like they're ready to choose you yet. Hmm? They feel like they're not quite ready for that experience. They're not quite wise enough. They've not quite learned enough. They've not quite lived enough. And I'm not saying that your connection is going to end. But that energy, that feeling of like, I need to learn more lessons. I need to learn more. I have karma in a new direction. That feeling isn't going away. Hmm? Okay. And I feel like an offer, right, of love will be made in the near future. And it may actually be rejected. And it's not because they don't love you. It's because their heart is leading them in a direction where they know they have to go for their growth and evolution. Like this is the ascension timeline, right? And I feel like that is where this person is at right now. Know that that is not a rejection. Um, it's not necessary protection either. You know, it's more so uh, they're going to have to move in a new direction. This could be work-wise, but with the lovers being here under wisdom, there's just this feeling here where they're not quite where they need to be. They could be younger or they're not quite established. There's just that energy coming through. I feel it. All right. Uh, with the Prince of Wands here, and it came up with the King of Pentacles. They are not quite there yet. What's interesting as well, um, they want to be established for you, and they they want to have uh they want to have uh, things going on for themselves, and they feel like they're unqualified, unworthy right now. Um, this could be just a limiting belief, but I feel like this is deeper. It feels deeper than that, and it feels more true in alignment with their highest good and highest purpose. So I know that it's a um, that one's a tough one to suck down, right? But it is a lesson uh, that it's it's part of their path, right? And <laughs> yeah, sorry, I wanna I I was gonna say, you know, we we all want everyone to be as happy, uh, have the best possible life, and it, what path the path that's you know that they're gonna be taking is leading them there. Um, doesn't mean it's away from you 
forever, but it does feel for now, okay? Let's get some channel messages here. Um, ooh, we have him. Yeah, I feel when you are apart and when you come apart, because it does feel like things are, you are chatting, right? There's communication here. Um, I see you and this person, uh, I, definitely this person always having you on their mind. Um, hmm. I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, I I, I feel this. Oh, I feel this as well. <laughs> Sorry, it's like toothpaste, dear. Anyway, um, uh, with I with that, I need to heal myself. I feel that very strongly as well. This person does need more time. We have the fifth house coming through. Um, the fifth house is about romance. They, it's interesting. I feel like this person came into your connection knowing that they need to heal themselves. Um, far out. Oh, knowing they need to heal themselves um, and, and entering the connection anyway. Uh, it's something that they didn't mean to do, but they had a hard time resisting. A lot of times people don't actually put their healing to the forefront, you know, their mental health to the forefront. And that's what happened here. They didn't want to miss out on an opportunity and they actually ended up, um, honestly, huh, huh, um, I want to say giving you more of themselves or committing themselves when they know that they shouldn't have. Um, this channel message is coming through because we have the throat center here. Um, they weren't as open as they need to be about the, their state, the mental state, their health, their, where their life was, and they really wish they had been. Um, and I feel when this connection starts to, and it doesn't feel like it's going to crumble. I see you maybe coming apart. In fact, I feel like you may enter the old patterns. Um, I'm leave like that. Um, and it will crumble a little bit but know that it was it's as it should be but this person knew they weren't healed enough to pursue this they did it and now it's kind of like they're left with that um i know it's hard to say this uh oh, give them forgiveness and grace all right we have the fourth house coming through as well i'm not surprised um they really do see you as home um they really do and the fourth house as well you know it's it's that nurturing mother energy they may not have wanted to let that go um even though they know that they should have they couldn't really back it up with commitment or they're not going to be able to and that's something that is going to hurt yeah they didn't tell you i can feel this right um hmm. Oh, leave like that. Sorry, it kind of hurts to say that, but they didn't tell you that. All right. So let's get a little bit of guidance here for the Leo viewers. Guidance for Leo, guidance for Leo. Uh, let's see the guidance for Leo. Let's take a look here. We have positivity coming through. I do feel with the positivity um, and the gentleness. I know that you're gonna want to rip this person's head off. We all been there. Know that they they couldn't resist, they weren't able to resist, and I guess it's honestly don't expect them to at this point. Like they need a little more work on themselves. But uh, with the positivity, though, know that these memories that you have, the good ones that you have, take those with you and kind of leave the rest behind. And we have move forward. And I know that that's a hard message to hear sometimes, but it is one that knowing that there's a bunch of abundance in this connection, but also out there um, with the positivity, though, maintain that gratitude, that equilibrium. I also want to say maintain your balance of feminine and masculine energy is very key for you to be, to find yourself into a line, like getting yourself back into alignment when uh, hmm, this person comes in. They could get, have, have a habit of coming back in and out. I'm not getting that, though. I'm getting someone, a connection that's trying to sustain itself. Um, it's eventually going to crumble because this person needs more healing. I feel you do too. All right. And we have miracles. Yeah. Um, hmm, and we have free spirit. Know that this is actually a bigger um, this is actually a bigger deal than it. No, I want to how do I phrase that. I feel like this this ending, so you can actually come back and have a serious good connection, is far better in an experience than you would ever than, than it looks like in the present moment. Um, you, if you were to look at your lifeline and see how things will play out versus you know staying together now for the rest of your life versus coming apart for let's say a year, you would actually go come apart for a year so that you can have a a beautiful connection for years and years and years to come. So that's where your message is. Um, and I know it's hard, but know that coming apart is part of the process so that this person can be who they're meant to be and vice versa so that you can have an actually balanced, sustainable connection. All right. I want to thank you. Um, Leo, don't forget to like and comment and take care. Bye.